safety is a top priority for parents, especially when it comes to children in cars. So how long should you keep yours, the little, little ones, in rear-facing seats? Dr. Jennifer Duke joins us now with some answers. Good morning, doctor. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. I see you have a, a, a prop, so to speak, behind you. Yeah, give us a little show my and friend tell. with me here. Yeah, I love it. Um, so we're going to start off with talking about the five-point harness position. Yeah, so what parents really want to know every time they strap their child in for a ride that they're secured appropriately. So um, a couple of uh, checkpoints that you want to make as a caregiver is first that the two lower flips are fastened into the central buckle, that the chest plate is right at the level of the armpits and clipped together, and that the sender um, strap is pulled tight enough so you can't pinch any excess strap at the shoulder. So this baby is ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to us a little bit about what the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends for rear facing until what age and if we're not talking about age uh, specifically, because I, I know just from my own experience uh, with, with my two children who are now teenagers, uh, weight and height also has to do with this. Yeah, so um, I care a lot about this issue mm -hmm. because um, the CDC data shows us that car crashes are the number one cause of child deaths from ages one to 18, and that about three out of four car seats are used incorrectly. The good news is, is that a car seat properly installed can reduce death and serious injury by 80%. Um, and what caregivers should really know is that the rear facing positioning is the absolute safest way for children to be traveling for as long as the weight and height maximums of their particular car seat allow. Um, the American Academy of Pediatrics does recommend that children stay rear facing in the car until age two. But it's important to remember that that's a minimum and that if a car seat will allow a child to stay rear facing based on the, the height and weight maximums, then they should stay, stay rear facing as long as possible. Yeah, the recommendation uh, that I see here from the American Academy of Pediatrics is uh, infants up to 22 to 35 pounds and 26 to 35 inches depending on on the model so we have to keep that in in mind mainly we speaking to our um our our, our pediatricians uh to, to get their guidance and finally uh some programs to check the car seat installation yeah parents shouldn't feel like they need to be an absolute expert on this there's lots of people in the community that are there to help them um like you said you know checking the height and weight of your child at the well child visit and, um, and then comparing it against your own car seat is, is super important. And then there's car seat technicians in the community, both at um, Kids in Cars through the Dell Children's Medical Center and, and um, Austin Travis County EMS has car seat technicians in events that where they'll check your car seat. I'm Good information there for every parent, especially new parents, because, you know, sometimes we don't know until we have them and we ask the questions. Dr. Duke, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.